In today's video, we are going to look at a brand new power station that finally has a low cost, yet has a surprising number of features and capacity. Considering this is an 1800 watt output power station with a 1536 watt hour battery, it only weighs just over 36 pounds, making this also one of the lightest power stations you can buy today with that amount of output. It's also very compact, it's about 14 inches long by 12 inches tall and about 10 inches deep. But is this thing actually any good? Well to answer that we've got to put it through a series of tests and check out what kind of output this thing can do. Inside the box you get an AC charging cord, solar charging cord and a car charging cord as well. They still have a number of convenience features. You've got the built in light with three options, three AC outlets, but they are capable of 1800 watts output continuously and it can surge up to 3600 watts. You get a single USB-C port rated for 100 watts along with a USB-A, but what's surprising is they also give you an XT60 output port that could be used for certain DC applications or modify it to other uses. Initially I just wanted to make sure the AC inverter worked correctly, so I connected this AC powered heater and put it in the high position and this draws about 1400 watts. But nowadays this isn't really any kind of a big test so I grabbed my industrial sander and I'm not really using this thing safely but I did just want to see how it would handle an immediate surge from a motor while that heater was continuously running. The display was quite responsive and I didn't notice any difference in the output. Both the heater and my 1000 watt sander worked perfectly at the same time and there was no issue with that motor turning on or off which can sometimes cause problems triggering other inverters to go into an overload mode. This unit is also capable of being a UPS, albeit it can only switch at about 20 milliseconds or less. That will be okay for some computers, but that's not the fastest you can get. But at this price range, it's pretty impressive that you get it at all. That will be super useful though for something like a pellet stove or a CPAP device, something that you want to keep continuously powered without needing to manually switch it over if you lose electricity. Now while I was running the heater I also wanted to make sure that I could charge this while I was outputting power and I plugged it into my regular AC outlet and there was no issue at all. You can see the input and the output both working normally and the heater is being powered directly off line current and it will keep charging the internal battery. I tested it on my Tektronix calibrated power analyzer and it did show that it was getting about 113 volts AC output but it was clean power with a pure sign so you can power any type of sensitive electronics. Many people will charge this using their AC outlet or a car charger, but you can also use solar panels. So now it's cloudy outside today, so I'm going to go ahead and use my solar simulator, and I tested up to about 400 watts of solar input. The Amp R can take 600 watts maximum of solar input. After using this Amp R for about a week, I had zero issues. There were no problems with ports, connections, or any kind of flakiness. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want a lot of output, Getting 1800 watts continuously along with a 1540 watt battery is a surprisingly good deal and the fact that it's one of the lightest weight units you can get makes it even better. So I am pleased to see cost of things like this coming down and if you want to get into the power station arena this is definitely a good one to consider especially for the cost. But let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a good deal? Do you wish it had other features or is this one you might want to consider for yourself?